Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. I have a quick update for you guys about the GOG winter sale and probably a lot of you guys are going to be happy about it because they sent me a press release and noted that there are more free games that are to come just like Wasteland 2 more are going to be available. So I'll talk that real quickly. Speaking of free stuff, Hunt Showdown will be enjoying a free weekend starting tonight. So that's always really great. Fanatical have kicked off their own winter sale. So yes, as a part of this winter, there's going to be a billion PCs gaming sales going on so try to keep your wallet as healthy as possible but i'll go over some of the best deals as a part of that really most notably right now it's all on capcom games and that's necessarily not a bad thing because of how ridiculously awesome capcom is but first up the guys over at gog sent me a press release and I was reading through the press release and they noted a bunch of things that they have more than 2,500 games on sale with completion bundles on CDPR's games, some Paradox games, and the best indie games of 2019. However, they kind of snuck it in there in the middle of the press release and they noted just like for Wasteland 2, more free games are coming later during the winter sale, so keep an eye open. So there are going to be more free games available and given the quality level of a freebie like Wasteland 2, that is pretty awesome. Wasteland 2 is going to be free on the front page page of GOG until Friday 3 p.m. Central Time, so that is tomorrow. If they're updating it with another free game tomorrow, or if they're waiting a little bit and then throwing on another free game, I don't know that yet. Uh, I will keep you guys posted. We'll find out tomorrow if they update it with a brand new free game, but it looks like GOG is going to be giving away multiple free games, and they noted more free games are coming later during the winter sale, so it's not just going to be one more. Looks like it is going to be two or three more, so that's pretty exciting. GOG itself is running their winter sale right now. I talked a little bit about it yesterday, but they've got north of 2,500 games on sale. A lot of the deals are the standard stuff we've seen so many times. I thought this would have been a good point to mark down Witcher 3 a little bit lower. We've seen that go on sale for $15 so many times now that I thought GOG with their own winter sale be a good time to see it for, you know, at least $12. But hey, that's me being a real penny pincher given that $15 for Witcher 3 is incredible. But nonetheless, the deals are good. Don't get me wrong. It's just that in the PC gaming climate right now with things like Humble, Game Pass, even like Origin Access, all of these different services that are available, the competition for offering the consumer the lowest price possible has been greater than ever. You're just seeing insane deal after insane deal pretty much on a daily basis. It's not even like you really have to wait for the Steam sales anymore. Yeah, back in 2012, your best bet on getting the best deals was during a Steam sale, during the winter sale, during the summer sale, but now the competition is greater than ever. And I might talk more in depth about that in its own standalone video because it's actually a very intricate topic with a lot of layers on it, so I won't be going into that too in-depth now, but do be on the lookout for that in the future. But nonetheless, more free games are coming to GOG in the rest of the sale. All right, moving on from that, staying on the topic of free, Hunt Showdown will be enjoying a free weekend starting tonight. Kind of a strange time to kick off a free weekend. They noted that it'll be kicking off December 12th at 7 p.m. CET, so it will be kicking off tonight. Hunt Showdown, if you guys don't know, is a competitive first-person PvP bounty hunting game with heavy PvE elements from the makers of Crisis set in the darkest corners of the world. It packs the thrill of survival games into a match-based format. This is a game that I played quite a bit of a while ago. However, I didn't get super, super into it. But what I did play of it, I did have a good time with it. However, be mindful of the fact that this is the kind of game that you really want to play with a couple of friends. So obviously, it being a free-to-play game for the weekend... Get your friends on it, jump in together, and you will have a really good time. And given that it is a game from Crytek, you can also expect some stunning visuals out of the game as well. It's not even that difficult to run. All things considered, it being a 2019 game, Intel i5-6600 at 3.3 GHz is recommended, uh, or an AMD Ryzen 5 1400, 12 GB of RAM, which yes, that is on the heftier side for recommended. GPU isn't anything out of this world, and NVIDIA GeForce GTX 974 GB. So that's nothing crazy, and it will be around a 16 to 20 gigabyte download, so bear that in mind as well. It's been received pretty well. All-time reviews are a little bit on the lower side. 79% of the 36,024 user reviews are positive, but if you go on the recent reviews, 4,879 recent reviews, so that's still a significant amount of recent reviews, 94% of those are positive. So that is a big disparity between the two. It's just 1% shy of hitting that overwhelmingly positive tier, and honestly, very 
very rarely do you see that a game being mostly positive based on its all-time reviews and then its recent reviews painted as overwhelmingly positive yes sometimes you do see a disparity but with hunt showdown it is bigger than normal that just goes to show that this is a game that has been updated over the months and it's been getting better and better that's why it's always really good that they do separate it from recent reviews and all-time reviews that works out pretty well but nonetheless that free weekend will be kicking off tonight and i do believe it'll be persisting until early tuesday so you can check that game out do have a go at it with a couple of friends all right moving on from that fanatical is running their winter sale right now they've got a bunch of deals available honestly a lot of the deals don't tickle my fancy all too much uh just on the basis because outside of the capcom game deals which i will be talking about in a second a lot of the other deals are on ea games and legacy ea titles yeah uh, they're good deals. Dragon Age Inquisition for $5 is really good. However, two things. I imagine that a lot of you guys are ultimately waiting for a lot of these games to come back on uh, Steam. So getting a game like Dragon Age Inquisition on Steam would definitely be enticing. But right now, you are getting Origin copies of the game. Also, even if you do want to play these games, Origin Access is a thing. I believe they're offering the first month for $0.99. Cents. I believe they're doing a promotion with Game Pass right now, where if you buy Game Pass Ultimate, the $1 subscription for three months, you also get like a month month or two of origin access with it it's absolutely ridiculous so if you do want to play a lot of these games the ea games mind you you could just go that route otherwise there are some decent deals again dragon age inquisition for five bucks isn't bad uh dragon age 2 for five dollars is pretty good burnout paradise remastered for five bucks is pretty good you know the standard stuff is discounted but the capcom deals these are the games that really stood out to me devil may cry 5 70 percent off on that right now for 18 dollars ridiculous deal uh that's still a relatively recent release came out back in March and this is one of my front runners for game of the year I don't think it's necessarily my game of the year I do think a couple games outpace it but $18 for it is excellent and really, the thing about Devil May Cry 5 and games like this, it's a single-player game that is a little bit on the shorter side, so dropping a full $60 on it, I can understand why people would be hesitant, but now at $18, you get a great campaign for the price, and I do think it's a great buy. Okami HD is 56% off for $8.79, really good deal on that as well. It is locked to 30 FPS on PC, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but given it did release at a budget price point and it's down to $8.79, I still think it's a great buy. Uh, Resident Evil 2, another one of the front runners for game of the year that is available for $18 so that's a great buy as well highly highly recommend that Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy down to $17.39 one of the earlier releases of the year as well I thought it was a great game if you're a fan of visual novels like Danganronpa Phoenix Wright is going to be right up your alley this one doesn't hold your hand as much you really have to read between the lines and it is a little bit more on the challenging side but definitely rewarding as well and you get three games with it so $17 while a little bit on the pricier side I would say it's rather they're good. Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen down to $8.09. That is 73% off. Really good deal on that. I thought highly of Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. And that was probably the first real game that started Capcom's reinvigorated focus on PC gaming. It was an excellent PC port, sold really well. And now that it's down to $8.09, I would definitely give that a look. That's a great buy. And Monster Hunter World is down to $27, which is a decent deal, all things considered. Uh, it's really unfortunate looking at the deals that MH World Iceborne Edition or the Master Edition had on consoles during Black Friday because they were getting the base game of Monster Hunter World and the expansion, which was a $40 expansion for like $30, $35, and we're nearly paying that price just to get the base game of Monster Hunter World. That is really unfortunate. Of course, MH World did come out later on PC versus when it came out on consoles, but still, I wish there was a little bit more parity in terms of the price point because if you're buying MH World now for $27, you're gonna wanna buy Iceborne in January and that's going to be another $40, so that's a little bit of a bummer. I just feel like if you've waited this long, might be your best bet to wait a little bit longer to pick up the Master Edition discounted, and you're probably going to be able to get that sometime next year, middle of next year, for like $30, $40, so that might be the route to go, but nonetheless, it is a decent buy. And that's going to conclude this video, guys. Wanted to bring some attention to Fanatical's winter sale as well, so a lot of good stuff happening right now, and remember, this is all before this Steam winter sale, so obviously... Everybody's trying to get their winter sale kicked off before Steam hogs all of the attention because come December 19th, everybody's going to be talking about the Steam winter sale and everything else is going to kind of go to the side. But nonetheless, GOG giving away free games. They've got a lot of great deals. Hunt Showdown, free weekend on that kicking off tonight. And then Fanatical, they're running their winter sale as well. So check that out. And by the way, Wasteland 2 is still available as a freebie on GOG. So give that a look. That's going to conclude this video. If you guys have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below and I will We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.
Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.